Capital One League Cup final at Wembley this Sunday has become the Cup of Dreams. It's the first major cup final in over a century for the Premier League club Swansea City. But their opponents, League Two side Bradford City's improbable journey to Wembley, beating three Premier League clubs on the way, has already become the stuff of legends. And as Jordan Jarrett Bryan reports, if they were to actually win the cup, it would be the complete football fairy tale. Something historic is happening in Yorkshire. The people of Bradford are buzzing with excitement and are in buoyant mood. Flags, hats and scarves, all your Wembley souvenirs. This season's giant killers are hoping to take their fourth Premier League scalp this year at Wembley on Sunday. How excited about the cup final are you? Oh, very excited. I can't wait. I've been waiting for ages for it. April 26, 1911 will forever be remembered in this part of the world. That was a day a 1-0 win over Newcastle United in the FA Cup brought the club's only major piece of silverware. Look closely and you'll see the moment Jimmy Spears gave the club its finest hour during the side's most successful ever period. How the times have changed. Back then, Bradford were regularly mixing with football's elite. But the club's economic decline mirrors that of the city as they now languish in the fourth tier of English football. I'm getting a hand for Bradford City. <laughs> As fans swarm to the club's official store, Bradford's cup run offers supporters genuine hope of better times. It's gone crazy, really. Um, you know, the tickets have sold out. There's uh, 30,000 plus going down. Um, we'll have a fantastic day out, but this, the whole city's got behind the uh, behind the club and the team. Oh, we can't wait. We've, we've had our tickets for a few weeks now, and uh, we're just buzzing. Just, words can't even really say how excited we are. It's once in once in a lifetime opportunity kind of thing, isn't it? So just as well, as the club has lost millions plunging down the leagues in the last decade. The chairman has had to bankroll the team, but the club is estimated to earn £1 million for its Wembley appearance. Regardless of the outcome, Bradford wins a brief period of financial respite. We set a budget this year to lose uh, and quite, a, quite a substantial amount, and that would have meant that we'd have had to sell at least one of our players in January. We haven't had to do that. We've gone over the break-even. So what does the chairman think of Bradford's chances? Well, You're almost resigned to losing. I think we are going to. I honestly do. Why, yeah. why is that? I'm, Look, I'm, 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 the, you're a smaller club, obviously, but yeah. anything can happen. You've beaten Arsenal, you've beaten uh, Aston Villa, you've beaten bigger teams than Swansea. So in theory... I don't think we've beaten better teams than Swansea. So the people of Bradford are very excited. The club's chairman, he's a little bit more fearful. I've come 45 miles north to York to speak to the Bradford City Stadium announcer, who also happens to be a vicar. An enthusiastic chance landed him in trouble with the Aston Villa manager. But it wasn't until injury time that he started to believe the impossible. 90 minutes at the end of the second leg of the semi-final, when we were 2-1 up and the board goes up to, say, four extra minutes. And it's the closest I've ever been as club chaplain to praying for a win. Uh, managed not to do it, of which I'm very proud. Um, but that was when I thought, we could do this. Yeah. Oh, sorry, pal. Back in Bradford, fans are seeing off the team, with 35,000 plus hoping the 102 year wait for glory will reignite the good times again for club and city.